Hey guys, what's up? It's AppOSX here, and today I will be showing you guys something that's really exciting, MultiFlow 2.0. It was just updated to work on iOS 4 and the iPad 3.2. It's been completely rewritten, and it is pretty much completely different from the 1.x versions because it no longer has you flipping through cards. It actually has something that's better for iOS 4 and uh, better for multitasking on your device. So I'm going to go ahead and show you. So I have set it to be activated via double tap the home button, but you can choose whatever you like. So when we double tap, the application's kind of like 360, and you have your applications right here, just like Exposé on the Mac. And if you double click from app to app, it has smooth animations, just like that. This is the way I thought Apple should have done multitasking, to be honest, and it's really cool, and you can go ahead and even quit applications. So now I'm going to show you guys... Uh, that it can handle up to nine applications. So I'm just going to get some other apps open here. Let's just get weather. Let's get calendar. Let's get uh, YouTube. That load up. And then let's get one more, I think. Let's do iPod. Let's just do one more just to be safe. Safari. Okay. So as you can see, it has support for up to nine applications. And you can even delete ones that you do not want or are no longer using. And it has a different kind of like layout for 9, 7, whatever applications you have in there. And it's really cool. So obviously it has excellent animations. It's a really cool app. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and show it to you guys on my iPad. So here it is on my iPad. I already have um, settings and uh, notes running on here. So I'm going to double click. And there they are. So it has that nice animation, and uh, it's really cool between app and app. So there it is on the iPad. Nothing much different, but it would be it's an awesome uh, multitasking, or uh, an awesome way to multitask on your iPad because we cannot do that until iOS 4. So now I'm going to go back to the iPhone here really quickly and just show you some of the settings. Let's go into MultiFlow. Okay, so you can change the activation methods to anything via activator. You can rearrange the tabs, turn that off and on, tap on uh, black closes, I'm not really sure what that is, background current on switch, and read documentation. So there's some of the settings, not too many, but not like you really need any settings anyways. So uh, this application is free via the Insanely I repo. You can... Um, either watch my video how to get that repo or I'll put the source in the bottom bar below and uh, just for the end of the video Chipone um, however you want to pronounce it this is just a by the way for the video has announced that um, Pro Switcher will be coming this week um, he says to expect to release this week he originally said he wasn't gonna make it for iOS 4 left a bunch of people disappointed and since this was updated I guess it gave him an incentive to update his application, so we will see Pro Switcher updated if you like using the cards better than this method right here. So whatever you like, a release of Pro Switcher will be um, announced this week, and you, I will make a video on how to download that. So that's it. Please uh, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe somewhere up there. Follow me on Twitter at AppOSX. Go to my website at AppOSX.com. And once again, thanks for watching.